and welcome back to World of Tanks. I got some more highlight videos lined up for you. I got an assault battle on Erlenberg, also informally known as Durpenberg, and I have a standard battle on Himmelsdorf. I'll uh, start off with our 3601Hs. We've been playing a lot of this tank lately. It's a very fun tank to drive. Um, this is Durpenberg. Basically a map that consists of a castle on one big hill and another big hill where everybody sits and snipes. Um, we are on offense on the assault game type. We have to take over the enemy base or eliminate all the enemy tanks in 10 minutes. So it's uh, 5 minutes shorter than a standard battle. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, typically on this map we like to stick to behind the hill so we do not get sniped from across the map as what usually happens if we sit on top of the hill with a heavy tank. Our camo value will not help us up there. So we are going to run to the edge of the hill and I can already see contacts popping up on the screen. And we will sprint towards them in hopes to ruin their day by killing them. Adam uh, must have spawned a lot closer than I am. I'm trying to get there and he's waiting for me. There's a tier 4 light tank. The M5 Stewart, he's gonna get it. Maybe I'll peek up this hill real quick to see if anybody's up here. KV1S, well that doesn't look fun. KV1S with the 122 high velocity gun does a lot of damage, especially to a light armored tank like mine. Let's push up and say hello. Again, I am uh, rolling with the lighter 75 millimeter armament and Adam instead has the 88. Oh my god, he's looking at me, but I think he fired. Oh, backing up. A Nash horn. AKA Super Toaster, which Adam just put a big shell into. Let's see if I can get a shot on this KV1 out here. Oh, missed him. Or bounced it. Same difference. Adam got the Super Toaster. And I am going to go into sprint mode. Now, whether this decision was warranted or not, probably wasn't. This was a terrible idea. I literally just ran out into the middle of the uh, enemies here. This is this is literally the worst idea I have probably ever come up with. Somehow I'm doing damage to this guy. And he's dead. But I am currently have no health. I have 25 health and I'm in the middle of a field. I am going to die. That guy is dead. I'm gonna back up. I have to back up fast. Oh my god, artillery! It's coming! Help me! Help me! Alright, I think I think I might be safe. I think I might actually have made it. Yep. That KV1S just cost me all my health. God. That was a horrible decision right there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever do that. That's just how you go out and die. Unless it's like a last ditch effort, it's not recommended. Uh, Adam, having pretty much all of his health, is going to move up front, and I am going to sit in the back and use my accurate gun to snipe people, seeing as I think a like tractor with one well-placed shot could probably kill me at this point. Also, artillery, the bane of my existence, is probably trying to find me. There's a KV-1 heavy tank over there. I will add to its demise. Really? Come on. Got him. That's what you get. One less tank to deal with. Let's see. There's a medium tank over there. Can't see it because there's so many houses. It'll just shoot through all the houses. I can see where... Nope. Can't see it. Thought I could see him for a little bit. I'll press up here a little bit, staying behind my main attack force. Mainly because I have no health. And... This tank doesn't really have a lot of armor, so not really deflecting much. And especially if a well-placed artillery shell finds me, that's the end of my day. Adam still hasn't really taken much damage, so he seems to be doing well up there. I'm gonna continue following in the back of the pack. Um, generally, there are a lot of people sniping on this map, so it's you have to be very uh, cautious. The houses that surround the riverbank are your friends because they block the shots for you. Um, also, it protects other people, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um, the arty never really moves from the spawn, so they're generally easy to find. 
And there's always people who have tanks that are not snipers that sit up on the ridge. I see a Sherman up there. That is not a sniping tank, but he is up there regardless. There goes one artillery. Every artillery that dies makes me smile inside. All scumbag Artie must die. Now we're going to push around the back of the hill. Uh, that way if anybody is has overwatch over that center plane or opening field there, we won't drive into it. Otherwise, you're just asking to get shot and die. So, and keeping low on the hill, I mean, a lot of my tank's still sticking up. Uh, mainly because if I go too far down, I'm not going to be able to see anything. Um, but generally, the lower you go, the better. That way, if there is more pit tanks over here, they can't kill you. There goes the Sherman. Sherman bit the dust. And it looks like there are two medium tanks left and an artillery unit all in the platoon. Let's see if we can find them. They're probably hiding in a corner. I don't see anybody. I am going to go to the base cap and make my shot off tank carcass worth something. It's quite not a carcass yet, but it's getting there. I don't see anybody. Oh, there's somebody. It's a fury. There he goes. Not that I really uh, contributed to that kill, but I mean, at least I scratched him off. <laughs> kill steal, pretty much. I'm gonna stay behind this house. That is a derpy looking gun. The Russian tank hunter there. It's a little nose sticking out of it. There's an E2 Sherman. That does not look good for my health. There he is. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Oh, I somehow got through him. This is a really awkward angle for sure. I don't know what I was firing at there. Ding him again. He's turning his side to me. That's great. I love the side of Sherman's because they're really easy to go through. Especially in E2. I will end your life. And there he goes. And now we all, all we have left is a scumbag Artie. He's hiding somewhere in the map. And I think somebody found him. And now he's gone. Adam got him. Thank you, Adam, for finishing off the last artillery. Probably did damage to me at some point in the game. Does not make me happy, believe it or not. So, a successful battle at Durpenburg. Usually battles at Durpenburg rely or usually result in uh, me dying. <laughs> Somehow I escaped dying in this. I had a 5x multiplier. I guess I'll take it. 8,000 XP nearly on a VK3601. It's a good time. Help me progress towards the tiger. And now it's time for Himmelsdorf. Um, urban combat at its finest. I just newly acquired this T-34, although I do have the 57mm, so it's fairly new. I mean, I've played games in it before, at least I'm not completely new on the tank. And then Adam is uh, progressing through the KV-1 series. And uh, he has the top tier gun on it, and I use the 57mm by choice, because the 76 is really bad. <laughs> it has a horrible aim time, and I refuse to deal with those problems. So, we're going to go take the top of the hill. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, this is also an encounter battle. Neutral base. So, that'll be interesting, because if you don't take the top of the hill, then the other team sweeps off the back and kills you. But if you do take the top of the hill, everybody could go for the cap. It appears that most people are going for the top of the hill. Uh, the T1 Heavy doesn't want anybody on our team to apparently make it up the hill. You need to get out of the way, buddy. Uh, Adam is moving out in his heavy tank. Um, I'm in a T-34, which has basically no armor. So I'm not going to roll out right away. But I think I'm going to have to. Yep. <laughs> All right. It's time to engage this uh, medium tank on the right that has somehow breached our lines. That did pretty good. We're going to get you. Oh, I really didn't do much to that guy. Right. Back up a little bit. Come on. Stay still. 
There we go. That uh, cost me a good section of my health. Half health. Run! Oh, that M4 bought it. Alright, now we're gonna hold this side. With a uh, half a T-34 and even less of a Panzer... Uh, the Panzer IV over there? A 3-4. Excuse me, a Panzer 3 4 who just ran out and died. Not really sure what he was uh, planning on doing there. Oh my god, there's tanks behind us. Bust engage. Oh, that didn't feel good. Either. That's a T-34. But he is tank appears to be better condition than mine. Well, that's great. My loader died. What's that? Oh, uh, this does not. Oh, uh, on fire. Oh, uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> was, it a, was it a lot to do there? Now, it's up to Adam. Adam and his KV-1. Blast the T-34. Oh, he got him! Just hit him in the engine. The T-34 didn't enjoy that one. There's a Churchill lighting him up. An M7. Something else. Let's see. Churchill has uh, got his fast-firing gun, but I don't think he can get through Adam. Ah. Adam, are you going to prevail? There are, like, several tanks over there. He's just dinging shots off the KV-1. The M2 medium. Oh, that guy's a threat. Not any longer. <laughs> I'm going to go finish off this Churchill, I guess. KV-1 has fantastic armor for, uh, Tier 5. The Churchill is okay, but its gun kind of sucks. And Adam destroys the Churchill... And move around and engage a fellow KV-1 who has its ass turned to him. <laughs> oh no. He got his track nailed. Now he's got to get through him. Come on, Adam. That is how it's done. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you hold the top of the hill in Himmelsdorf. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.